Hello guys, this is Luigi bringing you a market commentary. Um, and this commentary is mainly going to be about the problems that Mario Kart Wii had and what Nintendo should do for Mario Kart Wii U or Mario Kart 8 or whatever they're going to call it. So, um, yeah, as you can see here, I'm just going to talk about this room for a second. Um, most of these people had decent taste in course, but the rest, like, sucked, like, shit bit land, but, you know, whatever, my, um, N64 BC gets picked, thank god. But anyway, you guys all know this game's been out since like 2008. It's been out for four years. I remember getting the game, and look what's coming to it now texture hacking stuff. I'm not saying that's bad, it just makes the game more interesting. But anyway, there's one problem right there. Um, everyone pretty much lag started in front of me, so I didn't start until like a second after everyone else. Um, that's the main problem. It was what they have to get down with the Wii U is the, the connection. Now. Whoever's played Mario Kart Wii knows, if you've played a battle before, that the connection's absolutely horrible. You will crush people with Mega Mushrooms on your screen countless times, and you will not hit anyone. You won't even touch them on their screen, you won't even come close, but on your screen they absolutely get wrecked. And here I'm just getting fucking trolled out of the shit by noobs and their items. But, you know, whatever. So, the connection is really bad on the Wii, as you probably all know. So with the Wii U, I know they're bringing like really um, more mature games onto it, like Assassin's Creed. I heard and, um, that was really cool, and this fag and Michael Jackson shock, shock dodges. But it's really cool that they're bringing Assassin's Creed to the Wii U. I've been wanting to try that game out, but I've never really gotten around to it since I've only had my Xbox for a few months. But they really need to get the connection fixed on the Wii U. That's for sure. I just failed on that turn. Because you can't hit anyone with a green shell in this game. You literally cannot do it. You have to be really lucky and you shoot a green shell, it'll go right through someone and it won't even hit them. And on their screen it's probably like three miles to the left, so it really it's really stupid. So anyway, I'm just look look at that. Did you see that I was in first, but I was in second? Okay, I get some frame rate lag right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, next thing is the character balances. Um, you know, and there are my wheelie locks right there, and then you get the controllers right. Totally couldn't do anything about that. I'm wheeling, can't drift. That guy actually hits me with a green shell, no skill required. Probably aim right to the left. Comes a blue shell to ruin someone's race. It's only lap two, though, so, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, they need to work in ca um, character balancing, because with this game, you all know how it is, you go into a pro room every once in a while, all you see is funky fags and daisy, daisy whores, let's go with that, yeah. So anyway, I get completely owned by that red shell sitting on that corner after that shortcut, uh, you know, it's just more item luck for you. Um, and you can see the funky fags in this video, I mean, there's, honestly, do you think this guy behind me is any, any sort of pro just randomly using the Funky Kong Flame Runner? No, it's just, it's too easy, and the worst part about this is that the mock bike, which is the best bike, obviously, and the Flame Runner and the Bullet Bike, which are all the best bikes for the, uh, actually best vehicles for all the, um, you know, weight classes, they're unlocked by default. I mean, <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Who would use the Dolphin Dash over the mock bike, which is the last bike unlocked for medium? It doesn't really make sense to me. The mock bike, and look, look at that, yeah, okay, sure. Get blue shell good after I pass everyone. <sighs> oh my god. They need to work on item balances, that for sure. Um, let me try to say this really quick because I don't have much time left. I was playing Super Circuit for the GBA. And I played a Grand Prix, four races. Saw one blue shell, one shock. You do a GP in Mario Kart Wii, um, you're going to see like 20 blue shells and like 20 shocks. And I get blue shelled again after the line. And I uh, pretty much get second. And you even see the whole bullshit that this game is with the TCs. I didn't get one this race, thank god. But yeah, that pretty much ends it off this commentary as these two noobs in the back finish. And look who's in the back! Sir Funky Fag. Nah, I think that's the funky off-roader though. Um, yeah, it was the Michael Jackson. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy my negative two viewers out there. And I'll see you guys next commentary. Bye bye